Hello, I'm David Holmes. Uh, I want to talk through this video that we did. Uh, it's to show you how light lead sounds when you plug it directly into a desk uh, against a copper cable. So here's the copper cable. Uh, we've done this in a single shot so you can see us plugging the cables in and they're going in the same channels. So have a listen to this. This is the copper cable into the desk. Okay, so that's that's the regular copper cable direct into a desk. Uh, so now we're going to swap over to a high-end cable. This is an Analysis Plus cable. It's a very expensive, uh, specially designed cable. And uh, again, we're going to show you it being plugged into the desk. Uh, and all the channels are set exactly the same. And then you can have a listen to this. This is the Analysis Plus uh, direct into the desk. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Analysis Plus. So now we're gonna plug a light lead uh, directly into the desk in the same way that we did uh, the other cables and uh, to see if you can uh, tell the difference. So here we are, this is the light lead being plugged in and um, so the same channel. Okay, so now just have a, have a listen to this. Okay, so now I've got some technical stuff that uh, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna hand you over to this other video. Hello, I'm David Holmes. I'm the inventor of the Light Lead, and I thought I'd take some time to show you guys uh, a few things about the Light Lead and why you might want one and what the difference is between a copper cable. So firstly, I've got here a guitar, we've got a regular cable, and it uh, goes through a copper cable, and then we're plugged into an oscilloscope here. Uh, uh, that way you'll be able to see the waveforms and stuff. So first of all, let's start with the uh, copper cable. So I've got one plugged in here, just a regular copper cable there, and going through into the oscilloscope, and then I shall strum the guitar, and there you can see the uh, guitar waveform, nice and healthy. And that's the guitar singer 50 mega ohm input impedance there, so it's a nice healthy signal from the guitar. So let's plug in a light lead now. And then, so we plugged into the light lead. It goes through our optical patented analog system. And then it comes up to the oscilloscope. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll strum the guitar. And you can see nice, nice healthy waveform there too. Great. Okay, so now let's plug this guitar into a desk. But we don't have a desk here. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got a little uh, resistor here that's 10K, which is roughly what the input impedance of a desk is. And if we bridge this across the output of the guitar, that has the same effect as plugging it into a desk. So I'm gonna plug this across the regular guitar cable first. And then we're gonna plug in the regular cable. So we're going through the regular cable now. We've got a 10K across the output of the cable as if we're going into a desk. And then we're going into the oscilloscope and then I'll just play this here. 
And you'll see there that the signal is reduced. And what I'm gonna do is while I'm playing, I'm gonna unplug the 10K resistor so you can see the difference. So this is the signal now, and then I'm gonna put the 10K back on as I'm just playing. And there you go, see that signal drops right down. That's it unplugged, and then that's it plugged in again. So that's all I'm doing. Okay, let's try that same thing again now with a light lead. So we're gonna plug in a light lead. And I'll just show you the signal from the light lead again. So there it is. And then we're gonna plug in this 10K resistor as if we plugged it straight into a desk. Go in there, go in there. And then we'll show you the signal. The signal is exactly the same as it was. And I can show you that in more detail if I unplug the 10K resistor and then play, this is without the resistor. And then if I put it on, that's with. That's without. That's with. That's without. You can see there, there's absolutely no difference in the output from a light lead. Why is that? It's because the two ends of the light lead aren't connected. They're connected through an optical system, not an electrical circuit. The guitar signal stops here as an electrical signal. So all this guitar sees is a one mega ohm impedance here. It's then transferred through the optical system or a patented optical analog system. And then it comes out of this end and it's got about a 1K output drive on it. So that means that it doesn't matter what you plug the output of the light lead into, it cannot affect the way the guitar signal is affected by different input, uh, input impedances. So you plug it into a desk, it's the same signal. Plug it into a foot pedal, it's the same signal. Plug it into a, an amp, guitar amp, it's the same signal every time consistently. With a copper cable, Different inputs will change the way your guitar sounds, different cables, different lengths of cables because of capacitance build up and everything else. So we've removed all that by using an optical system. There's no capacitance, um, there's no loading on the guitar. It's a consistent uh, impedance that the guitar sees all the time. And of course, you're electrically isolated, so you won't be getting any shocks off of the microphones or any ground loops that you'd normally get. Um, so that's why we did that. Um, now let me just show you one more thing, and that is to show you that this oscilloscope is calibrated on each channel, and they've not been modified in any way. And to do that, I've got a little signal generator here. So what I'm going to do is down here is where the cables were plugged in, and I'm going to take the channel outputs that was on the regular cable and plug it into our signal generator, and you'll see on the screen is a waveform and I'm going to take the uh, same thing from our light lead which goes over to this channel and I'll plug that in and you'll see here that it's another waveform cable there let's plug that into this one I've got my wires all crossed here hold on This one onto this, there we go, and then this earth onto this earth. There we go. Now you can see there looks like there's one waveform, but there's two channels here, and all I did was made sure that each channel was reading the same input level and then just matched them so that when I turn this off, there's a flat line. But there is two channels, so these inputs are calibrated so that the inputs you see are the same voltage signals. I haven't boosted anything or changed any gain. So there you go. Uh, I hope that was informative. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, you can always email me, dave at iconicsound.com. Uh, I hope this has answered some questions. I'm sure it will generate even more questions, but um, I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, get in touch, it'd be great to speak to you. Thanks very much for watching.